office. Now I'm going to show you how to use this plugin to style the thesis navigation menu so that it has a, you know, a little icon that sits before the text. And in fact, that icon is going to change color, you know, or change state as the link state changes. And we're also going to use an image sprite to accomplish this rather than using a whole bunch of different images. So that's the next thing that we're going to do here. And in order for us to do that, the first thing we want to look at is our image itself. So this is our image that we're going to use as our sprite. It has four different icons, the light bulb, the beaker, the planet, and the spaceship. And then it's got three different states for each of those. It's got the solid bright color, it's got the semi-transparent color, and it's got the gray color. And the, what I'm going to do is use this color for the current state, this for hover, and this for link, so that the default color will be this gray color. And what we'll be doing is we'll be telling each menu item which piece of this image to use given its specific condition using the position property inside of that plugin. And we will be setting the position from the top left hand corner and so by specifying its height and its width. Now each one of these icons sits in a rectangle that is 50 pixels by 50 pixels. So each of these four, that's 200 pixels, and then 400 pixels, and then 600 pixels. So this image is 600 pixels tall and 50 pixels wide. So we've got that little grid working here, and it's that little grid that we're going to use for determining the position of the sprite in each of our menu items. So the first thing we need to do is upload this menu. And we're going to come in here and go to the dashboard. Okay. And then from the dashboard, we'll go to the nav menu. Now this nav menu is already sitting in the location here inside the Thesis Simple Header Widgets plugin. So when using this plugin with the Header Widgets plugin, of course we're going to set it so that it doesn't display and then we'll use the Header Widgets plugin to display it. So the position is set not to display, the menu visibility is set for everyone, the alignment is aligning the menu to the right and at the moment we're not going to turn our layout guides on. So in terms of our overall menu customization options, we are going to set overall menu margin in order to move this thing down. But I think otherwise we're going to not set anything else for our overall menu styles. And then for our typical menu styles, we will customize the typical item margin, typical item padding, typical item background, and then we are going to customize each menu item separately. And the other thing I want to do is just change up my text a little bit. Well, we're not going to do anything with submenus, but change up my text. And so I'm going to use normal spacing for the text, and I'm going to remove all caps. And then we're just going to say save to this. Okay, now that will have created this progressive refinement whereby we have a new set of choices now that we've made these choices. And let's see, let's just go over here and take a look at what it looks like now. Okay, there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to design options and get rid of the border around this thing. So we'll go to Thesis Design Options, and we're going to go down to the Nav menu, and we're going to get rid of the border. Remembering that the first thing we do is everything we can do 
using the thesis nav menu and then we refine that using the plugin. So we got rid of that border and if we refresh it we'll see that the border is gone. Okay. So now what we're going to do is work on our typical menu item styles. And so in the first place I think I want to give ourselves a left margin of 10 pixels. I want to separate those menu items themselves. And I'm going to give the overall margin, a top margin say of 100 pixels. And then while we're at it, in terms of background style, we are going to customize the background color and use the background image for each of these. Oh, whoops, we haven't. And we also need to set the number of tabs we're going to do. We said we're going to customize each menu item separately. We have four menu items, so we're going to say four menu tabs. And let's see, customize background color. Actually, in this case, we're just going to customize background color in all of them, but not use background image because this is the typical, not the menu item itself. Okay. So now we have tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, and tab 4 styles. And then we have our opportunity to set colors. And what we're going to do with the color is essentially make these colors transparent. That's why we said customize the background color, because we want to get rid of all of the background colors in the typical menu items. Because we're not going to use any background color here. So we just make all those things transparent. And then what we're going to do is say to each one of these tabs, we're going to customize the background. Now, in order to understand these tabs, well, let's just go ahead and hit save first. In order to understand how these tabs work, WordPress or Thesis automatically adds the class tab hyphen and then essentially tab number which is the position left to right in the menu. So this is tab hyphen 1, tab hyphen 2, tab hyphen 3, and tab hyphen 4. And so what we are doing here is we are doing the same thing. We are creating a style for tab hyphen 1. And that style will apply to the first menu item. Okay. So now under our styles here we are going to say use a background image for the for the link background style use a background image for the hover background style use a background image and use a background image and we have to make that choice again for all of these you can see how many choices you would have to make if we didn't have this progressive refinement system. You would have to wade through hundreds of irrelevant choices and it would just be confusing. So what we do instead is we progressively add choices as you make decisions. Okay, so anyway, we're going to use background images on all of those states for each of those tabs. And now, let's go ahead and upload that image. We haven't done that yet. So we're going to say Add New. We're just going to add this to our media library. And actually, we're going to see our new drag and drop feature here in action. Because what I'm going to do is open this up, Websites, BYOB Website, Tutorial Sites, and Thesis BYOB Tutorial Graphics. And I believe I'm working on Nav 3 Ping, so all I do is just drag that here. Whoops. Drag it, drop it. And now it's been uploaded. Okay, and so let's see. So it it's uploaded. So we'll see. Okay, there it is. Now it is actually uploaded. So here's our image here. 
and so we'll go ahead and we'll copy that URL and come back over to our plugin and then we're gonna just paste that URL everywhere Let's see un under tab one styles we've got our link back on image with no repeat and we'll leave it at top left for the moment and we'll have our hover background image with no repeat and our current background image with no repeat and our current parent with no repeat and then we'll do the same thing with each of these because we're not going to have these things repeat the icons only going to show up once now you may wonder why we have to say this so many times but what I wanted you to have was a maximum flexibility that is the ability to do different menu items in different states differently so that's what you have here once you've decided you want to style each tab differently that's what you're gonna have is a full set of choices for each tab oops no repeat and current parent okay so we've got that in there with the no repeat and if we hit save and hit refresh we're going to see those images show up well I think I must have messed that one up but you can see the light bulb in these ones here now what we need to do is add padding so that we can move the text away from the image and of course they're all in the same position so they don't change currently on on link state yet but they will so we'll come back over here and look at our tab one customization options link background state yeah you can see I forgot this one no repeat okay we hit save and ref let's see where we go refresh it 